All right, example number two. Use the distributive property to expand this expression. So now, what's uniquely different about this problem is what is in front. Usually, we're used to seeing like a whole number or a decimal, or we see a number here. But now we have a variable. So are we still able to take that variable and distribute it in? You are. And if you want, you can build, like I said, you, you, I don't care if you do this or not, but it's got a height of x. It's got one dimension of negative 2 and then another dimension of 0.5y. And you can multiply each box out and get the value. So when you multiply that variable, you're just going to get an xy variable. It's still x times y. So if we just, just did this distributive, x times negative 2 gets me negative 2x. x times a negative 0.5y gives me xy. That Now, that one you could have... 0.5 yx. I really don't care. It's multiplication. I mean, just think two times three is six. Well, if I change that order, three times two is still six. I mean, I could throw a third number in there. It doesn't matter. Two times three times one is still can equal six. And if I did one times two times three, that's still six. So I can mix that order around any way I want. I choose to keep um, it in alphabetical order. So I put the x before the y. Um, but either way, build your diagram or just do your distributive, um, and you're going to get this expression now. Now, can we combine these? Yes, this has a variable x, and yes, this has the variable x, but do they have identical variables? So the only way we could combine this and actually get like a negative 2.5 is if there was a y right here as well. Then we would have the same terms that can be combined. But we don't have that, so we just have to leave it as simplified right there, no Y, okay?